Today we honour the Indigenous peoples of this land, the oldest continuing cultures in human history. We reflect on their past mistreatment. We reflect in particular on the mistreatment of those who were stolen generations. This blemished chapter in our national history. It was an amazing day. You know, it was a day that we'd been waiting for for so long. And, um, you know, we couldn't believe that, you know, the Howard government wouldn't make an apology. And, and we thought it was the beginning. To make an apology um, is the first stage of, is for, of healing. And, and everyone thought it was going to be so hard. But when Kevin Rudd made the apology and um, our connections in Canberra were telling us that he, he was still writing the statement, you know, right up to his presentation where he made the apology. He wrote the statement. He wanted to get it right. And uh, so that really touched us. We apologise for the laws and policies of successive parliaments and governments that have inflicted profound grief, suffering and loss on these our fellow Australians. We apologise especially for the removal of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children from their families, their communities and their country. Being Catholic and the importance of forgiveness is so important to us and it's one thing that we've grown up with and it's been drummed into our heads, you know, is to always apologise. If you do something, to apologise. And again, it's another example of healing. You know, once you apologise, then you acknowledge it. To be at the park when um, Kevin Rudd made the apology and to see the emotion on the Aboriginal people and the tears um, and just to acknowledge what's happened to our, our people um, was amazing and it was something that we wanted to happen but I think it was, it was good for all Australians because even though we've got a long way to go you know um, but it's a lot more dialogue people are addressing Aboriginal issues now for example in the Catholic Church We've got Aboriginal Catholic ministries all over Australia and they're working within the community, building our culture up, building relationships within the church and giving us a voice. We, the Parliament of Australia, respectfully request that this apology be received in the spirit in which it is offered as part of the healing of the nation. For the future, we take heart, resolving that this new page in the history of our great continent can now be written. The apology was great, but there's a, still a long way to go. Our education, health issues are still there. In some areas, the, the gap has widened. Um, our statistics show us our death rate, health rate, education is still in great need. So even though the apology was great, we've still got a long way to go, and in particular, a lot of our healing also. On the day of the apology, we were emotional, um, but we also were celebrating because we could see that was the road to, to healing. NATSIC, our national body, working in with our Catholic bishops, um, are committed to help in that healing process. By the time the 20th anniversary comes around, I hope that my children and Aboriginal communities are in a much better situation, education, health, and, and you know, by working together, we find that we've got more in common than difference and can help society generally in dealing with all issues.